Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw another Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Which one are we gonna draw this time? Score Bunny. Score Bunny, and how come you like this one so much? Because I picked it for my starter Pokemon. Yeah, what what kind of, what type Pokemon is he? Fire. Fire, and he looks like a bunny, right? Mm -hmm. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need some... Paper, and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. Okay. We're first gonna draw our Score Bunny's nose right here in the middle of our paper, but towards the top so that we have room for his body. We're gonna draw the letter, or sorry, yeah, the letter V. <laughs> <laughs> That's for his nose. Then we're gonna draw the top of his nose. We'll connect the top. Then we're gonna draw the little band-aid. I, I don't know if it's a band-aid. <laughs> it looks like a little patch on his nose. We're gonna extend the line or the top of his nose past on both sides. And we're gonna turn this into a rectangle. So let's draw the left side and also the right side. And we want these lines to be the same length on each side, but shorter than this bottom line. Then we're gonna connect the top. We're gonna to start over here, draw a curve to connect over to the other side. Now we can draw his eyes. We'll draw a rectangle, rectangle, an <laughs> oval over here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting my shapes mixed up. <laughs> you don't know your um, shapes. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to draw another oval over here on the right side. And we want to draw it the same size as the left. Cool. Now let's draw a small circle in the top of each of those ovals. This is for the highlight. Make his eyes look shiny. Now let's draw his mouth. We're going to draw a curve. He kind of looks like he's frowning, but we're going to draw it, his mouth open. And he's going to look like he's yelling. And we're going to draw a U-shape underneath, big U-shape to connect left side over to the right. Then we can draw his teeth. Let's draw a U-shape in the middle. He just has one tooth. Yeah, one big tooth. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the tongue down here. We're going to draw another curve at the bottom. Cool, now let's draw a little line that connects the nose down to the mouth. Kind of looks like him already, huh? Yeah. Now we're ready to draw his head. Let's draw a big U shape that's gonna start over here underneath his eye. It's gonna come under his mouth and then back over here next to his other eye. Good, and then back up. Then we're gonna draw the little fur or his hair that's sticking out on each of his cheeks. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out and up. Let's do that same curve on the other side. Out and up. Whoa, that one I made bigger. <laughs> That's okay. Then we're going to draw another curve that comes back. Looks like it's ear. It does. <laughs> we're going to draw bigger ears though. We're going to draw another smaller curve that comes up and back down. Then let's repeat all of those same steps over here. We're going to draw another curve that comes in. Then we'll draw a small curve coming up and back down. Cool. Now let's draw a curve that goes over the top of his head to complete the shape of his head. We're going to just connect it all the way over to the other side. All right, now hopefully we still have enough room up here for his big ears. We're first gonna draw the left ear. We're gonna start in the middle of his head and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes over to the left. Woohoo! Woohoo! And then we're gonna draw another curve that comes back down and almost connects to where we started. Good. Okay, now let's draw his other ear. We're gonna draw a curve comes out of the first one. Wow, getting really close to the top of our paper. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna curve back down. And I'm not gonna go all the way yet. We're gonna draw a little piece of fur sticking out to the side and then connect down. Yes. Now let's draw the inside of his ear. We're gonna start right here. We could draw a point down here at the bottom and also a point up here at the top. So. One right there, and then another one right about there. Then we can draw, let's draw a curve that connects these two points, one on each side. Now let's draw another one on this side. I'm gonna draw two more points. Yeah. And then we'll connect those two points with two curves. 
Next, we're ready to draw his body. He has a little collar around his neck though. So let's first draw two short lines that come out of his chin. Then we're gonna draw a U shape that comes in towards the middle and then connects back to his chin. Sideways U, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side, sideways U. Yeah. We're gonna draw him sitting down. So let's draw his arms in front of his body. We're gonna draw two curves, one over here and one on this side. Now we can draw his hand. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down, around, and then back up. Almost looks like you're drawing a raindrop shape. Yeah. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, around and back up. Next, we're gonna draw his fingers. We'll add two little curves on, his, on each hand. Then right in between his hands, let's draw the bottom of his body. Little curve to connect. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. Yours is bigger, and our two drawings do look a little different, but that's okay because both of them look awesome. I especially love yours because the most important thing is... To have fun. Have fun and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. And it's okay if your drawings even look different than both of ours. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Now we're ready to draw his feet. Let's start over here, and we're going to draw a curve. We're going to leave a little space next to his hand, his arm. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up really high because he has big feet, better to jump with. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw another curve on the other side that matches. We're gonna go up to the same height. Then we're gonna curve around. Look at this, the top of his foot is big. So we're gonna draw a big upside down U. Then we're gonna come closer down at the bottom Yes, and then we'll connect the bottom with another U shape. Now let's do the same thing over here on the right side. Draw a big upside down U for the top of his foot, come closer, and then connect the bottom with a small U. <laughs> then we can draw his legs, two curves that connect his foot to his hand. And the same thing on the right side, two little curves. Okay, now let's give him toes. We draw two curves, just like we did for his hands, on the top of his foot. Now he has a little patch on the bottom of each foot, just like he does on his nose. He has a lot of band-aids. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think they're band-aids, but I'm gonna draw a curve on the bottom of his foot, and then a smaller one down here, the, uh, closer to his heel. There we go, and then we're gonna connect the edge of those, and then I'm gonna repeat that same step on the left side. Long curve at the top, short one at the bottom, and then connect the side. Awesome, we did it, we finished drawing Score Bunny, except he's gonna look cooler once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we still need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Score Bunny. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now, most of them is white, but we used markers to color in all of the details. We also used a gray marker to add shading to his ears, underneath his chin, and also on the bottom of his body. I added shadows to his feet, too. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Score Bunny. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. You can even add more details to the background. Maybe there's even a trainer in the background. Yeah. With a Pokeball. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.